Hey guys, welcome back to Cypress Steel Forge. We, uh, we doing more fun stuff. Had a uh, customer uh, ask me for a 9-inch Woodsman Bowie, but he wanted something special. He wanted a staghorn handle with the crown still on it. Uh, I don't think he's expecting his handguard, but uh, I really need something to bring that weight back. The, the problem with, with the, uh, a hidden thing is the back of this is hollow, or give or take. I mean, it's not really hollow, but it doesn't have any metal all the way to here, right? So now, all that weight's to the front. So what I've done is bring a swoop handguard in, give it a little twist there to protect the knuckles, and uh, yeah, that, that brings some of that weight back, gives it a little better balance, and so, yeah. See, brings that right back into balance. Uh, as you can see, I've just finished the glue up. Uh, I'm doing the, uh, the intro late again this time. So uh, you you get to see the actual forging of it. Uh, I forgot the video, most of the grinding and stuff. So you're just going to have to forgive me on that one. Uh, we got pretty nice fullers in there. It's hard to see. I gave one side some texture. I thought it would do... Oh, just a you know aesthetic thing, but uh, yeah. So got the stag horn. Like I said, he wanted the crown on there, so we'll polish that up. And, uh, and uh, we were able to darken this one and make it kind of look natural again. Cause sun bleaching it, it. Most of the darkness you see on this one here is just dirt. And that's gonna come right off. So uh, we'll we'll stain it and make, make it look right. A little bit of glue stuff. But anyways, um, yeah, this one's got a longer, more traditional handle. Uh, we've actually got a pin in there, so it's mechanically held. I, I think it's going to be good. Um, it's, it's, it's not... It needs a little work, but, but I haven't finished, you know, shaping it and whatnot. But I think overall it's going to be a nice thing. So let's get, to, get started and, uh, well, <laughs> finish her up. Lord, I done did all that yep, and I forgot the main thing I was going to tell y'all. Uh, biggest thing about this is to, in order to have a tang that was long enough to support a, a good heavy chopping blade. Now, this is this. See, my woodsman bowie comes with a nice thick spine. This is intended, hey, if you need to bring down a tree, well, I mean, wasn't my first choice, but it will do the trick. Uh, good for saplings, good, good for tender, you know, you need to split something, she's there, you know, good for hiking, camping, hunting, whatever you need to do, that's what the Woodsman Bowie's all about, but uh, in order to make sure that tang was long enough to, to really support that blade, I had to extend it a little bit, so what I've done is uh, I've actually put a well, put the handguard in there to act a bit as a spacer. Then we have some, some leather and just a bit of some redwood. Uh, I believe it's called Paduk or Padauk. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but it's a really good hard redwood and it comes out really gorgeous looking. So I think that's going to give it a nice little stripe at the beginning of it. So we're going to clean it up and uh, shape it, sharpen it, and it's going to be ready for some fun.
to give her a whack. Mental note, I really don't like this box. It, it really, I might have to buy me a better one. Y'all buy stuff so I can get me a better vice. Yeah, that was still cheap. Handle's still nice and tight. This is a good one. We're gonna give y'all an added bonus though. I'm gonna do something really stupid right now. Like I said, this one here was for me. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna find out if this will actually work or not. I, I'm very, my concern is it thing has a very tiny little tang in there, but we're gonna have fun. Only get to live that one time, so let's do this stuff. <laughs> well, crap, it actually holds up. Guess I'm better than I thought I was. Alright, guys, well, that's gonna pretty well wrap it up. Uh, yeah, I trimmed the handle down, just smoothed it a little bit. Put a little stain on there they it kind of brought up the natural cracks so yeah you know what it kind of gives it a bone look you know it's antler uh that little stain there so it i said it, it, it was actually a bit sun bleached so when it gets the stain it kind of goes back to looking rough and, and dirty uh that that redwood just just really sat in there I'm gonna wax that one more time but uh yeah i think it just really kind of pops Gives a little character, you know, just to that little bit of a spacer. Feels pretty good in the hand. It's it's a little heavy, but I, I tend to make these a bit heavy. Uh, they're they're made for chopping, you know. And it, like I said, you want to go through a tree. It wouldn't be my first choice, but if it's all I had, I wouldn't hesitate to give it a shot. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, I think this is going to be pretty good. But we'll see what the customer says. You know, it's always up to the customer what they like. But, uh, hey, appreciate y'all watching, you know, like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. You know, check out our shorts. Uh, I've been doing some crazy little stuff. Uh, <laughs> put up a video where I was harassing my young in with dad jokes. So, uh, you know, come check out the shop. We're putting up new stuff all the time. Uh, a lot of the knives have uh, various options. If you want to see more stuff like this here or you want to get you one, Hey, it, it's on the shop. This is just a standard 9-inch Woodsman's Bowie, but it's it's made different this time because he wanted that stag handle. We can do, uh, you know, various handles and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, come check us out and appreciate y'all, and y'all have a good one. Yeah.